Hi, we're going to tell you the story of Jose Gutierrez de Lara, the R-A-N, also known as the Republican Army of the North and the Battle of Medina. Jose Gutierrez de Lara was born in Guerrero, the Guerrero part of Mexico. He was a blacksmith, a strong guy. Well, he was getting tired of what the Spanish were doing to Mexico. And one day he got in a boat. But there's something else I need to tell you before we ever even get to that. Because there's something very mysterious about Laura. As you can see, he looks a lot like Elvis. Look at the lamb chops. Look at the coat. See? Same coat. Same lamb chops. Suspicious. Also, if you look even more carefully and think really hard, you realize in this painting, Jose Gutierrez de Lora looks like a crossover between Elvis and Michael Jackson. And you know that Michael Jackson, wearing these same clothes, married Elvis's daughter. So, I suspect that Jose Gutierrez de Lara is really the child of Elvis's daughter and Michael Jackson, who went back into the past. Enough of that. One day he gets in a boat, this would be in 1811, and he sails up this way, north, to Washington, D.C., and he talks to the Americanos, and he says, we need some help getting the Spanish out of Mexico. Would you please help us? And they said, yes, here are some documents that you could take with you to New Orleans. In New Orleans, you can have men, money, and supplies for your expedition. Well, in 1812, with an army of Tejanos, of Native Americans, and of white American filibusters. They sneak into Texas over the Sabine River. By the way, a filibuster, you remember, is, is a guy we think of as kind of a hero, but maybe more of an outlaw filibuster. Remember that term. So they sneak over the Sabine, and they go and they take over the wild town of Nacogdoches up here. They do that very quickly and they go on a march. On this march, they start picking up more and more and more volunteers till they get to the town of Goliad. And after some fighting there, they take it over and the Spanish army flees <coughs> to San Antonio. There they go. Notice the Medina River flowing into the San Antonio River. Well, there were some problems in the ranks of the Republican Army of the North. First of all, the American volunteers in the army wanted an elected government like you have in the United States. And they also wanted Texas to be independent or part of the United States. Well, the Mexicans said, hang on there, buddy. They wanted a government with appointed officials, not elected, appointed officials like in New Spain. That's what they were used to. And the Mexicans wanted Texas to remain part of Mexico. Well, those problems took their toll. And Jose Gutierrez de Lara had to leave. 
by the way, Sam McGee, not Sam, <laughs> the guy that was helping Laura, who I didn't mention yet, who I was supposed to mention several frames ago, whose name was Augustus McGee, he recruited him in New Orleans, and he was really leading the army. He died at Goliad. Well, a year later, in 1813, you can see here the Republican Army of the North and the Spanish Royalist encampment. Oh, I forgot another major thing. In this year, they proclaimed in they proclaimed that now Texas is independent. That's what they did, and that's what they were going for. Texas was independent. They started setting up a govern a government, writing documents, acting like a republic. Well. The Spanish were not happy. And after they had gone to San Antonio and they were licking their wounds, they started to pull back together. And they found a commander, Joaquin de Arredondo. And they fought at the Battle of Medina. And when they fought, the Spanish army completely killed every single RAN, Republican Army of the North guy that they could get their hands on. Even the guys that surrendered, they killed them, probably by firing squad. Well, a few got away. The Spanish tracked them down and killed colonists in San Antonio who had helped the Republican Army. Anybody up there in San Antonio that had helped killed them. So in fear for their own lives, the colonists deserted the towns of Goliad and Nacogdoches. The Spanish were so brutal that the war for independence of Mexico was put on hold for seven more years. They had some really cool clothes, though. This is a depiction of the War of Medina. Over a thousand colonists died there that day. Almost three or four times the number that died at the Alamo. Here's a recap. In 1811, Jose Gutierrez de Lara went to Washington, D.C. For, for help. He got help in New Orleans and hired Lieutenant Augustus McGee. They formed an army of Tejanos, Native Americans, and white American filibusters. They were called the Republican Army of the North, otherwise known as the R.A.N. They crossed the Sabine River and captured Nacogdoches. Then they marched to Goliad, gathering more volunteers. And they captured Goliad in November of 1812. And the Spanish retreated, but they weren't done. Still, before the Spanish weren't done, the R.A.N. declared Texas independent. But there was trouble. They didn't all agree on how to run things. At the Battle of Medina, along the or near the Medina River, the RAN forces battled the Spanish. The Spanish command were commanded by General Joaquin de Arredondo. The Spanish beat the RAN badly, killing over 1,000 men. By the way, they treated the women and the children badly, too. The Spanish even killed those who surrendered. They tracked down and killed Texas colonists who helped the RAN in San Antonio. And the colonists deserted Goliad and Nacogdoches. The war for independence was put on hold for seven more years. <laughs>